Um, hello, everyone. Um, thank you so much for joining us. My name is Wayne Holmes. Um, I'm an associate professor at University College London, and my role today is to represent the European wing of this project. And it's fantastic to see everyone here today. Um, we had over 650 registrations for this event, which, to be honest, is about 600 more than we were expecting. Now, the success means that it probably won't be so easy for everyone to share their views today. Um, so this afternoon and after today, we have some plans to address what one might call a quality problem. Um, so naturally, not every one of those 650 people can be here today, but we're still so grateful for everyone who is able to join us. And we understand that many of you will um, have to drop in and uh, drop out um, across the day. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention was that um, al already, you know, the very number of people who have uh, registered for today, for me, demonstrates that people around the world agree that there is a need for some kind of critical studies of AI and education. And I think that's, that's fantastic. So um, I want to um, start uh, by thanking um, the Asia Europe Foundation or ASEV, which is based in Singapore, but also the International Research Center for AI under the auspices of UNESCO, also known as IACI, which is based in Slovenia, and my university, UCL. Without all their support, this event would not be happening today. And I want to give a special thanks to JOT from ASEF for all her amazing support and contributions. Now, um, a few household notices. Um, so firstly, as hopefully you would have seen um, when you logged in, uh, we're video recording uh, this event. Um, we're going to put the recording online um, at the uh, as soon as we can after the event has finished. Um, in addition to that, um, uh, as usual, please will you make sure that you mute um, yourselves um, throughout the event, apart from when we put you in breakout rooms this afternoon, um, unless you are invited to speak. So if you want to comment on anything that you hear, uh, please use the Zoom chat. And third and finally, um, if you want to share what's going on today um, using um, social media, then please do use the hashtag critical studies AI and ed. And if we can all do that, then hopefully we'll have a bit of a, um, a, a, a position out there. OK, so now on to the agenda for today. Um, we start with some welcomes. Um, and then we're going to have our keynote presentations by um, Ilka Twomi and Kyungmi Lee. Um, that's, um, and I want to say thank you so much to both of our keynotes. I really appreciate your time. And I'm very much looking forward to hearing what you have to say. Um, I'd also like to apologize to both Ilka and Kyungmi, um, and in fact, to all of our speakers today because for my personal very poor pronunciation of everybody's names, I, I, I do apologize. Anyway, after our keynote, we have a panel discussion, and this is featuring uh, Maha Bailey, uh, Kalovo Gulson, Jeremy Knox, Selena Namorin, Liz Sylvan, and Antonia Wolf. And frankly, we would have loved to have had each one of these um, amazing researchers as keynote speakers. So um, maybe next time. Um, but thank you all so much for joining us today, and I'm really looking forward to the discussion. And also a particular shout out to Cal and Selena, who have stayed up late for us, and to Liz, who has got up very early. So this is really a truly uh, global gathering. Now, after a longer break, we'll be discussing and improving the draft call to action that we shared with you all. And then we finish up with a discussion about what now. So with that finished, I would like to hand over um, to our um, His Excellency Ambassador Toru Morikawa, who is representing today um, the Asia 
uh, Europe Foundation. So, uh, Ambassador, over to you. Ambassador, sorry, you're on mute. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Professor. Again, a warm welcome to each one of you to this unique and timely online symposium on critical studies on AI and education, co-organized by a group of committed academics from Asia and Europe. As a result of a collaboration, they started during the 16th ASAF Classroom Network project. I commend Dr. Wayne Holmes and his team's dedication to organize this event that I am sure will have a significant impact on the educators community who cares about ethical AI and ed innovation. In the rapidly evolving landscape of education, where the digital era is reshaping the way we acquire knowledge, today's online symposium on AI and ed is a testament to the experts' commitment to drive conversation on the topic to the right and necessary direction. It is truly an honor to deliver this welcome work remark at this event, where we embark on a journey into the future of education, where the conversation on the role of AI in teaching and learning is in the focus. Let this symposium be as a platform for collective exchange of ideas, experiences, and insights, fostering a dynamic dialogue among educators, technologists, policymakers, and all stakeholders passionate about AI and ed. As we delve into the symposium sessions and discussions, let us remain mindful of the profound impact our endeavors can have on how AI can or cannot shape the future of education. Throughout the course of this symposium, let us engage in thoughtful conversations about the ethical considerations, challenges, and responsible decisions surrounding AI-driven education innovation. I encourage you to critically reflect on the integration of AI in education in a way that is aligned with our shared values and principles on the true purpose of education. Please actively participate, ask questions, and exchange with one another. Thank you for joining us on this exciting journey. Let us symposium begin. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ambassador Morikawa. That is so much appreciated, and your your views and the ideas um, completely agree with. Amazing. Um, so thank you very much. So now we turn to um, my colleague, Professor Miki Sugimura. Um, from Sophia University in Japan. And uh, Miki, among other things, is representing the Asia wing of this project. Thank you, Wayne, for your kind introduction. Hello, everyone. My name is Miki Sugimura from Sophia University based in Tokyo. Today, I'm very great honor to give a short address on behalf of the ASEAN wing of the organizers team of this wonderful opportunity. Under the leadership of Professor Wayne, we have been very enjoying this wonderful project. Especially, I'd like to thank the Professor Holmes for creating this opportunity, as well as the ASEF team, uh, Ambassador Morikawa, and his education team, especially the Jyoti and Ruka. Thank you very much for making this wonderful opportunity. ASEF is involved in a variety of activities among which ClassNet is a practice-based discussion forum focused on the educators. In 2019, my university, Sophia University, supported the previous session of ASIF ClassNet 15 in Tokyo. And all the member state country, including EU and ASEAN, got together on our small campus in Tokyo. We are very honored to welcome them. The theme at the time was ESD, Education for Sustainable Development, and Artificial Intelligence AI. At that time, 
nobody thought the COVID-19 would happen after that. But in hindsight, I think that the, this thinking about sustainable futures and sustainable development in AI is a really important topic. Especially today, the critical studies on AI, which is today's topic, is also very, very crucial for all of our educators, practitioners, or uh, even the students, but teachers, and transfer education that is currently being uh, discussed in the field of education, especially international societies like UNESCO or the United Nations mentioned about the, how we can transform our education. In that case, maybe AI is one of the very important topic for us. On the other hand, the beauty of this ASEF project is that we can learn both European and ASEAN perspectives. In this context, it is important to understand the cross-cultural and sociocultural backgrounds of each country or region or local area, as well as European and ASEAN perspectives. I have learned that it is very important to conduct the comparative analysis from a cross-cultural perspective. In today's discussion on AI, it is also very crucial to consider the significance of AI in education and the challenges it poses, as well as how it deals with the origins and humanity of the people who use it. Cross-cultural perspectives will also be important in this regard. As one of the educators and researcher myself, studying the comparative and international education, I really looking forward to today's discussion. So thank you very much for your kind attendance and very happy to meet you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much, Mickey. Really appreciate all of that. And now last but definitely not least, and um, we turn to Mitya Jamal from Irkai in Slovenia. Mitya, thank you so much for joining. So <clears throat> thank you very much, uh, Wayne, for inviting us to this uh, event. Um, even even you are involved as well, so um, it's not that Wayne is not um, actually separate from the IRCA. So Wayne is also very active in the International Research Center on Artificial Intelligence that we are running here in Slovenia. Um, so uh, for us, uh, it's like expanding the research that we did in the past on the technology level into several aspects, which are more or less implications and consequences of AI, and that tackles as well very much in the area of education. So what IRCA uh, is doing is actually trying to get on one side, uh, ex so extended research on one side onto the social sciences, and on the other as well, building out the global competencies uh, so that we can actually together tackle the issues related to AI, which now is certainly impacting all areas of, of, of um, humanity. Um, so we. We are uh, deeply involved in AI in education, and Wayne is part of the of the of the board as well in the in, in one of the program inside the the ERKAI, which deals with the implications of AI. And something like uh, uh, like today uh, event is certainly very important, and we as ERKAI can bring the value into that certainly from the area of, on one side for the area of research, an area of competencies on AI and technology on the consequences of AI, but also if you see on the upper level corner, since we are part of the kind of part of the UNESCO, we are also involved in all these international organizations, which includes uh, OECD, EU, GPI, national policies, national governments, uh, D4D, Council of Europe, which means that certainly um, this is a mechanism to also put forward on the international scale what is being discussed and what is being researched and what is being proposed um, in many of these uh, uh, events. So uh, we are deeply involved as well recently uh, with, with ASEF because of the stronger collaboration in the area of AI and education. There are many things that we are planning to do. And uh, since we are UNESCO and since we are preaching the openness, so I'm also the uh, UNESCO chair on open educational resources, um, we, we, we you know, invite everyone. So if you have an idea, if you have you know, uh, will to work with us, 
if you want to open your own stream of research and do that in the frame of the umbrella of IRCA, you are more than welcome. So uh, it's true as well that um, this global network of AI competencies that we are building right now, it's uh, having right now roughly around 60 entities across the globe, which are more or less uh, uh, AI research entities. But we also helped building up two additional sister organizations right now and that has been accepted in the last uh, general conference of, um, of UNESCO. Uh, so sister IRCAI in Saudi Arabia and sister IRCAI in, in Morocco, both of those covering their own region. So, and in the same way, like we work here, in the same way that we have this invitation of you participating, working with us, the same works for, for all the other uh, sister organizations. So we are very happy, uh, very supportive. Uh, we, are, we want to be involved. We are involved in, in these programs and certainly you can count of uh, everything that could, we can bring in uh, in this respect. Thank you, Wayne. Thank you, colleagues. Thank you uh, very much. So I'm just going to um, reshare my screen. I'm sure there's a better way for that. Um, yeah, so I just want to say um, thank you so much um, to our um, welcome uh, people um, that is so kind and, and much appreciated.